Recently, someone by the name of Mr. Reagan, or at least his YouTube channel goes by Mr. Reagan, uh, attacked Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and accused her of being nothing more than a paid puppet and an actress. Now this is a common conspiracy pushed by the right wing. They did it to the Parkland students after they become became very active in pushing gun control legislation following the shooting where they saw their peers get gunned down in front of them. And now all of a sudden AOC is being accused of being an actress as well. Now. Normally, I wouldn't care if some random person on YouTube is trying to spread conspiracy theories. But these conspiracy theories have now seeped into Fox News. Earlier, we heard, you know, Sean Hannity and Glenn Beck spread this conspiracy theory on Fox. And now we have Mike Huckabee doing the same thing. Take a look. Somebody's writing her questions. I saw the questions at Michael Cohen and saw the questions at Wilbur Ross. And there are some forces behind her. I think there's a story there. Well, there very well could be. Um, I, I know there has been some allegations that she was almost like the Manchurian candidate, recruited, uh, prepared. Uh, you know, I don't know. Okay, I love that uh, for a number of reasons. But the most important one is, wait, I thought you said that she wasn't bright. Now all of a sudden, her questions are so good, someone else must have written them for her. Her comments are so good at catching Trump. Uh, in wrongdoing, mm-hmm. which is what she did in the Michael Cohen hearings and the Wilbur Ross hearings. Well, I mean, that's so brilliant. It can't be her. It can't be her. It has to be someone else. So, which one is it? Is she not bright or too bright? Okay. Right. So, first of all, it's incredibly insulting to her because it's making this assumption and spreading this narrative that she's a complete moron who can't think for herself and needs to be uh, controlled, right? Secondly, Yeah, you're right, Cenk, you're admitting that the line of questioning in the Michael Cohen hearings, for instance, was brilliant. Because it was, it was brilliant. So Uh, if if somebody said something stupid that you didn't like, you wouldn't say, like if, uh, pick any conservative. If Glenn Beck says something stupid, if, (laughs) when he does and we come out and talk about it, we don't go, I wonder who wrote that for him. My God, that thing was so stupid, it couldn't have been Glenn Beck. It must have been someone else stupid, <laughs> right? No, so it's an absolute admission here that they're like, she's too intelligent. So we've got to, be, it can't be her, could it? Now that gets leads to the second part here, guys. There's a reason why they do this. And as always with conservatives, it's projection. Because their politicians are almost completely controlled by the donor class. So it's in a sense, the invisible hand of the free market. Uh, because we've allowed for uh, legalized bribery in this country. The Koch brothers, Sheldon Adelson, the Mercers, and by the way, all the multinational corporations go uh, give unlimited contributions to politicians through PACs, independent expenditures, and direct contributions. So they then tell them what to say. In fact, uh, there's this group called ALEC, uh, American Legislative Exchange Council. They literally write the laws and hand them oftentimes to state legislators. Sometimes the state legislators will forget to take ALEC's header off and they'll submit it with Alex actual header into legislation, into a, a proposed bill. And they'll get caught and we've done those stories, etc. So on the right wing, they are controlled. Their questions are written, their uh, talking points are written, they're disseminated. That's why you will see all of them saying the same thing on TV, all across the different channels. Because they got talking points and the talking points were from the think tanks, also funded by the same donors. Mm -hmm. So when they see someone who's smart like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who is moving the national conversation in an unprecedented way, they immediately think who's behind her, because in their world, it's there's always someone behind them. Mike Huckabee is a Republican politician. He did the same thing. He got the same donors. Right. He was told what to say, and he did exactly as he was told. So, so he assumes likewise for AOC. So Huckabee actually takes it a step further because in the clip, he refers to her as a Manchurian candidate. And so what is a Manchurian candidate? First of all, that phrase is based on a novel and two movies, right? Where the Manchurian, where American soldiers are captured and they're programmed to murder, right? And then also it reminded me of Zoolander, where Zoolander is programmed to kill the Prime Minister of Malaysia, like this scene right here. Welcome to your relaxation time. 
Let this wonderful 80s classic soothe you. Lord! Martial arts! Ha! 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 Prime Minister of Malaysia, man! <laughs> now, I can assure you no one did that with AOC. I can also assure you that they don't actually do that in the right wing. Uh, it's much simpler than that. They don't have to strap Huckabee into any kind of contraption. Uh, uh, they All they do is they come in with a check and they're like, now, if you like, we can give you this check. And, and then you could vote for that. Or I could walk away with a check and give it to your opponent, especially in a primary. Right. So. And then all of a sudden, Mike Huckabee is like, "Where's my questions? Where's my script? What do I need? What do you need me to do?" Yeah. So remember, this whole talking point that's now spreading to Fox News is based on one conspiratorial video that was put out on YouTube that's already been debunked, right? And it was debunked by uh, Snopes, but more importantly, it was debunked by me in an episode <laughs> of No Filter, which I'm going to give you a little snippet of. Take a look. I know this sounds crazy, but bear with me. Okay, I'll try, but yes, you sound crazy. Keep going. In 2017, a group called the Justice Democrats held auditions for potential congressional candidates that they would run on their platform for various congressional seats throughout the country. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's brother Gabriel submitted her for the role. Now, I've auditioned for many acting roles in my day. I've also cast many of my own projects. I know how this works. If you find somebody with star power, even if they don't 100% fit the part, you go with it. Obviously, AOC has star power, just look at her. She's a superstar, the most famous person in Congress, maybe ever. Their casting was perfect. Obviously, AOC has star power. Okay, this is Mr. Reagan's central thesis, and I'm actually making him sound way smarter than he really is by describing it that way. Much like the conservatives' conspiracies regarding the Parkland students who became politically active after they witnessed their peers get gunned down in a mass shooting, right wingers are trying to paint AOC as a paid plant or a trained actress. It's their way of trying to get everyone on their side to believe real people couldn't possibly be passionate about reforming a rigged economic system in America. So there's a couple of funny things there too. Uh, one is, and and then they had her audition for the role. Or how about the people suggested real Americans who could run for Congress and we ran them. And why does it have to be an audition? Like they assume that every politician, I guess, must be an actor. Why is it an audition? In fact, we're doing it again, justicedemocrats.com slash nominate. <gasps> Okay, and people found out that her brother nominated her because we said it on the Young Turks. So if we wanted to keep it a secret conspiracy, why do we keep broadcasting it? Why did I just do it right now on air? Okay, so it, it's totally preposterous to cast it in that sense. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I just think that they can't wrap their mind around the idea that a real person, an uncorrupted person right. could actually be smart and actually do a great job in Congress. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then the second part is, so, and obviously AOC has tremendous star power, right? How come that wasn't so obvious before the primary? When we, yes. were, support, when we were supporting her before the primary, and we did absolutely, we did 34 videos about her. And we over a million views uh, that we got on it, right? But no other press covered her. I mean, at the very end, there was a couple of articles, but we were dying to get her more press. We were trying to get her on the New York Times, we were trying to get her on CNN, nobody wanted to talk to her. It's obvious she had star power, and that is why they cast her. If that's true, then you're wrong about how brilliant we are, because if we cast her, it didn't work. There's no other media covered her before the important primary victory, after she did one of the most stunning defeats in American electoral history. Then everybody wanted to cover her. So Snopes actually did get into touch with Mr. Reagan, and uh, this is what they found. Ironically, the only actor in this scenario is Chris Coles, who plays the character of Ronald Reagan, or Mr. Reagan in the YouTube channel, right? Mm -hmm. Coles told us in an email that the use of the word actress was illustrative. In other I, words, not true. So this is his quote. <laughs> or I should do it like this. In other words, not true. And this is his quote, I did not mean to suggest that this was Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's actual profession or an official role. I thought this was clear. No, Chris, it was not clear. In fact, you said the opposite several <laughs> times in that video. 
<laughs> while, uh, while Coles admits that the Congresswoman was not an actress in the literal sense. He said that he still believes she auditioned for the role of Congresswoman as a response to an open casting call by Justice Democrats. And you know, who's Jenk? Who's the mastermind behind all of this? Uh, Don't I, even answer. Don't even answer, Jenk, because he's about to tell us right now. Mastermind behind it all. Jenk Uger of the Young Turks. May all sound completely nuts like a big conspiracy theory, but the Justice Democrats was heavily promoted on the Young Turks. We have video evidence from the inception through into the campaigns. I think they have maxed out on incompetence. So that is why we must choose a new path. And that is what we embark upon today. What we need to do is take over the Democratic Party. And as Martin Luther King said when he did the Civil Rights Movement, he said he was doing it not just to help African Americans, but to save the soul of America. Here we're going to try to save the soul of the Democratic Party. Does that clip sound great? <laughs> it actually does sound great. Right? And also, why are you telling everyone about your conspiracy? You're supposed to keep it under yeah. wraps. You know? oh, left wingers, we're such knuckleheads, we broadcast our conspiracies. Wait, I thought I was a mastermind. <laughs> what kind of mastermind broadcasts a secret conspiracy? But by the way, I'm now using hashtag mastermind on Twitter. I know, I've noticed. <laughs> I'll take it, brother. I'll take it. You know, but by the way, isn't that sad that our democracy has gotten so corrupted that if you come up with a plan to run real Americans who are uncorrupted and they actually do things and are in favor of things that are popular, as opposed to things that would just serve the donors, they win elections. And people are like, whoa, nobody thought of that. What a crazy thought to actually not take corporate money and to actually do what the people want. Turns out people vote for that. Yeah, and I can guarantee you, it doesn't take a mastermind to figure that out. Also, justdemocrats.com slash donate, so we can keep on doing that and have Mr. Reagan and the Sean Hannity's and the Mike Huckabee's do more and more. Oh, if they thought 2018 was bad, wait till they get a load of 2020 when we're gonna have it hopefully in at least another 12 AOCs in Congress and their heads are gonna explode. It's gonna be a beautiful sight. Can't wait. Hashtag mastermind.